Welcome to Stitch Trek. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to call this little show. I just wanted to make a space where I could talk about and review Star Trek costumes to help people find things that they want to wear to conventions or on the cruise or Halloween or whatever. You're a Star Trek fan, it's your life. You put that costume on when you want. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance for the lack of men's uniforms. I am a woman and my Star Trek costume addiction pretty much is for me. <laughs> I buy things that I want to wear, so it's got to fit me. What am I going to do with a big men's tunic? Sorry guys. I mean, I actually, I do have some, and that's because a lot of things they don't make in women's size, so I buy them and I alter them to fit me. So I will do reviews of them before I chop them up. So let's start right now, at the beginning, with the original series. And what I have on. This is an original series scant. It is adorable. This is a great basic functional costume. I love this thing. It is perfect if you're just like on the cruise in your cabin and you want to put something on and run up to breakfast but you don't want to go in your t-shirt and shorts. You want to wear a costume. This is perfect. This is fully functioning clothing. It You can play tennis in it. Um, there's no reason not to wear a costume if you're at a convention or on the cruise. You can always wear something like this. I will say, it is regulation length. And that means short. But that's okay, because all you have to do is find some little boy-style shorts that match the color of the costume. I have one in yellow, red, and blue, a pair of these little booty shorts. Just wear it underneath, and then it's no different than wearing, like, your little shorts in summer. No big deal. If you bend over and people look, what are they going to see? Shorts. This is a great costume. I will admit, I did some alterations. And the fabric's not right, but let's get to that now. <clears throat> when you order this, and it comes in the mail, where's my red one? My red one's the one I haven't touched yet it's not my red one, it's my cousin's. Um, I have some of my cousin's costumes here. There's a little construction work going on next door, so if you hear noises, that's them. It shows up like this. That is a much cheaper quality badge, but it's not bad. Really, it's not bad. The sharpness of it actually reminds me of the animated series, which I adore with my heart. It also comes with a single stripe. I had to up my rank. You can buy these stripes online. So you can up the rank of any costume you have in TOS. They also have the captain's version, which I have right here in the yellow. You just sew them on. That's not the best sewing job. I don't know why I did it that way. I'll do it again. So I bought a better quality badge, replaced that. And um, I have freakishly long arms, so I lengthened my sleeves a little bit, and it's still short, but it's a little bit short in the show. So now I feel like I actually match the show. <laughs> the fabric is not a velour. Sorry, everybody. It ain't. It is a sort of, this red doesn't want to show it. Can you see? There we go. It's sort of a waffled cotton. I would refrain from just throwing it in the wash if you want it to last a long time. Just because, you know, this isn't the most durable stuff in the world. Hand washing is easy enough. And I'm not sure who makes it because there isn't a maker's tag on it. Really, there isn't. I found that a lot of costumes I get in the mail don't have a manufacturer's tag on it. That's fine. Let me see. Let me see if I can figure it out. Yeah, it, it doesn't even say who the maker is on Amazon. And that's fine. It is 40... Nope. It's about 40 bucks. $34.99 to $39.99. Um, what else is not quite correct about it? Okay, the fabric's not velour. 
the neckline, obviously, on the original TOS ones. It kind of stood out a little bit on the ladies. This does not, whatever, very small difference. Um, the shoulder seam on TOS original series uniforms went down the arm. It, there was not this one here that goes around. I'm not bothered. It still looks great. It still has the swirl seams around the front and the back, and it has the um, back and front flaps, which are cute as hell. So considering that, I think the price is extremely fair, and I recommend this one if you're looking for something really easy. There are other versions of this from other companies. I will say, I don't buy rubies. I don't. Rubies is a Halloween supply costume company. They do um, a bunch of TOS stuff. And as far as I'm concerned, they're cheap and garbage and usually some sort of see-through. They never fit right. The seams are always amazingly wrong. I mean, this is some wrong seams, but it's basically correct. You know, the sweep actually goes this way. Um, like these are there. Ruby's doesn't try. Ruby's doesn't try. I mean, it tries, but like, it's not worth it. There is another company called Fancy Cube. It's fancy, then cube is spelt with a Q, Q-U-B-E. They make a nice one that's a little, a little more accurate slightly more accurate. The fabric is still not velour, but the seam down the outer arm is there. It doesn't go around like this one does. However, that makes it so if you lift your arms up, the whole thing goes up and it's a little more... Um, I have one of these right here to show you, but I bought it and right away I chopped it up to make a different costume because I liked that the quality was more like swimsuit material and that meant I could swim in it. And I had this idea of making a mirror universe bathing suit. So this is the top. So you can see the seams of this scant are still the swirl seam from the point in the collar. The collar does not stand out, just like this one doesn't stand out. The original did. Um, it is, like I said, a very thick, not very, I said no, it's a medium grade um, spandex. So you can swim in it. It is easy to sew. I altered it very easily. And I used the top half for the top half of the bathing suit and the bottom half became the bottom, bottom half of the bathing suit. So the bottom half still has the front and back flaps, which is correct to the show. Um, yeah, and I found this one in two colors, the red and the blue. They don't, I don't think they make the gold. And I'm kind of not surprised because this one, the waffled fabric one is kind of what I call it, waffled fabric version, tried to make a gold and I found it. And it is, it is hard to find, but I found it. And this gold is really bright. Isn't that, it's just, it's very light and it's very bright and it's not right. I wore it, I wore it on the cruise. I will wear it again. I'm not upset that it came in this color. It's still Star Trek to me. It's just that this is a very bright choice. Very bright choice. And I can see why maybe it doesn't sell as well as the other ones. It is not in any way, shape, or form command gold. Another complaint about this one as opposed to the other two. The other two, let me show you. See if we can get it to work. I'm having difficulties with my. See how. You know there's a black seam under there. You know there's black fabric, but it doesn't show through. Because that's how you make a seam, right? There's one side of the seam and there's the other. They're touching, and if you bend it inside, if the fabric were thin, you could see it on the outside. That's sewing. Um, this one, something about this fabric. Let me find it better. Where's the point? Here it is. You can see the black through. It doesn't really look good. I was wearing a flesh tone bra that is really light 
I'm very light when I'm not covered in freckles. I would have a job outside now. Um, and you could see the difference in flesh tone bra versus me. And that was, this is the same thickness, but there's something about the yellow. It doesn't, it's not dark enough. It doesn't hide any flaws in your under layers. So I had to buy a bright yellow, extra long tank top to wear under this to make sure you couldn't see my underwear. So I will wear it again. I love it. Um, but not the best color in the world for this. A darker gold probably would have done wonders in hiding your seams and your undergarments. Although I did put better command stripes on there. So I might take them off if I make my own. I could probably find this fabric online for pretty cheap. So those are the TOS ones. To go with them, I found these boots. Aren't they like almost perfect? They are like almost perfect. They are great. These things are on Wish. Please, I will explain those dots. Don't get scared. Um, these are on Wish. I got them for $8, a dollar shift, I think. And they have been on two cruises with me. They're going on this one. They look a little bit different. If you go on Wish and you search tall black boot, they show up. Let's do it right now. And if you know how Wish works, you will find multiple listings for the same item at different prices. And oh, look at me, I just got my sales code. That's nice. Tall black boot. And I'm a little jealous because these ones are way cheaper. $1.75. What the heck, $1.75? Wish is weird. Read reviews on Wish. Um, so it looks very slightly different when you buy it. When you buy it, it's going to have buckles and two dots. And those come off so easily. So easily. And then all of a sudden you have this cute little, the original series boot to go with your outfit. So I totally recommend those. I feel like I should make a video talking about Wish and how to buy costumes on Wish because we have definitely, we purchased some costumes that did not work. Actually, my cousin got a yellow one, and it was sewn in a way that was absolutely unwearable. I think one of the reasons that they can sell things for so cheap is there's no quality control. You get what you get. Hopefully, it shows up and it's awesome, and sometimes it shows up and it's not. But the thing that makes Wish okay is that they will take anything in return. So if it shows up messed up, just return it. Not a big deal. If it doesn't fit, just return it. Not a big deal. Sometimes you go to return it and they're like, okay, cool. We're going to give you your money back, but just keep the item. I got some shoes for free that I will be reviewing soon because they are going to be the base of my discovery boots. So, that. Oh, um, just, you know, this one zips up the side. The one that I altered with the other seam, the uh, fancy cube. Where was the zipper on this one? The zipper was, oh, on the shoulder, which actually is more screen accurate because in TOS, the zippers were on the shoulders of the men's tunics. And I think maybe the women's scants too. I don't know, I can't think of that just off the top of my head like that. It's not in my brain. So I don't know the brand name of this and I don't know if that helps or not, but it's pretty easy to find if you just Google Star Trek uniform women. Just look for the seams here and around here. And if there's a close up, look at the texture of the fabric. And hopefully it's this one you're ordering if, it, if it's this one you want. And the badge will, of course, look stitched like this, not solid like mine. Happy hunting. I hope you find a costume that you really adore. And I think that this is a great choice. This one gets some pretty high marks on my rating scale that I have not come up with yet. But maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm a busy girl. I got costumes to make and I have a full-time job. So <laughs> live long and prosper, everybody. I love you all. Bye.